first thing which comes to everyone's mind and which we interact a day in day out is हाय एवरीवन जय हिंद जय भारत जय माता दी आर यू सेकंड इंजीनियर और चीफ इंजीनियर मैनेजमेंट लेवल पे आ गए हो पैसे आ गए हम जेब के अंदर अब लग रहा है यार नहीं आई कांट लिव विदाउट माय फैमिली आई गॉट माय किड्स आई वांट टू सी देम ग्रोइंग आई वांट टू क्विट सेलिंग बट आई वांट टू डू समथिंग इन शिपिंग आई हैव गॉट ऑल दैट एक्सपीरियंस आई वांट टू लेवरेज दैट देन दिस वीडियो इज मेड फॉर यू वेयर कैप्टन राणा हैज गॉट इयर्स ऑफ एक्सपीरियंस गाइडिंग सो मेनी मरीनर्स आउट देयर ही विल टेल अस कि व्हाट ऑल ऑप्शंस डू वी मैनेजमेंट लेवल इंजीनियर्स हैव in core shipping but not sailing anymore sir captain rana first of all thank you very much for joining us hey thanks pranith uh, always a pleasure to speak to you and uh, yeah so this video will focus on management level engineers um, um if they are looking to transition ashore and they are looking to stay in core shipping right now again within core shipping let me divide into two parts one where you would like to utilize your technical skills right and b where i mean uh, you're saying that i want to stay in shipping but may not want to utilize your technical skills and by shipping i'm specifically talking about ship management uh, probably right <clears throat> so first thing which comes to everyone's mind and which we interact a day in day out is technical supply and demand so you and i mean that's something which is honestly aspirational to many but at the same time because you 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 see them you know working so hard working relentlessly sometimes it's also a field where many feel ki yaar nahi ja raha yahan pe right but but it has a um, you know pros and cons but most marine engineers especially at a senior level you will find them in as working as technical superintendent but obvious <laughs> hai cpr ban ke second ban ke ab technical superintendent then maybe fleet manager or something many Absolutely. batchmates are doing that right now maybe maybe around 30, 20 to 25 batchmates are superintendents these days very responsible job uh, and and you know uh, you are essentially managing the whole show uh, of the company right so that's number 1 um number 2 is your vessel performance optimization right um again um you are a little bit it savvy right information technology savvy you are um, looking to analyze data you are looking to solve problems uh, by correlating stuff right and not just by technical correlations but other correlations as well so you know correlation of a technical to commercial technical to uh, hsq uh, technical to something uh, whether you know um, that's where you should uh, you you can go and this is again where the world is going this is where the opportunities are enough and many and many many more will come in the near future as well right so that's the second area where you could get into third and this is where um um a lot of persons want to be and ideally um only senior engineers are accepted over here is administration right uh, what do i mean by administration is uh, if you want to work in government dg shipping mmd uh, maritime boards right those are the places which have power right which uh, can influence um a company policy making advisory role and you know once you retire the kind of know how you have about the entire industry is unparalleled right no one would have that because you are interacting with all the companies at different levels you are making um, or or uh, you know influencing policy making so so that's where you could go and get into and at a senior level right um uh, third is surveys right Uh, now as a junior engineer it may be you may not know so much about the the technical um, uh, nuances um, but as a senior engineer a chief engineer second engineer you can absolutely you know you you work in various kind of surveys these could be sales and purchase for example uh, your normal conditional condition monitoring surveys or it could be your machinery surveys uh, various uh, levels of surveys where you could get it um 
also a classification society right um, we can put them into surveys or we can put them into a, a separate category as classification societies which are doing various roles they are doing um, um, uh, your consultancy role uh, they are of course doing the survey bit and they are now also into optimization uh, as as well right offering those kind of services um, then we've got oems right you can again work from uh, in a oem wherein you can service your clients which is servicing your ship management uh, clients and at certain level selling their services as well you can get into dredging uh, as well uh, so um, essentially um, the dredgers have very sophisticated um, equipments right and very very powerful as well but small um, and um, and and so a senior engineer can actually start to manage those vessels but in a short period of time they can lead the company um, as as well um, again shipyards um shipyards you can you know uh, manage a dry dock while you've managed a dry dock uh, uh, from the ship side you can now uh, you know help in construction of vessels or you could actually you know uh, repair vessels as well in your uh, shipyards dry docks as well right so those are possibly on the core shipping side of things um on the uh, uh, um, where you can where your technical know how is not required as much right you are on the core shipping but technical know how is not required you can get into crewing um, again you know your your uh, your people skills are are really required over there uh, learning and development right um, there are so many seafarers coming um, the rules are changing new policies coming new regulations coming you can get into uh, learning and development and and help um, the upcoming seafarers or uh, uh, with, with that or you know upskill the persons who are already sailing at a particular position right um so so i think uh, the, those are the key things where you uh, where you can stay connected to core shipping but possibly uh, not um, utilize your technical skills uh sir thank you very much for the input very similar to the operational level engineers but i guess the difference is in the salary part <laughs> am i right sir correct 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 and um, um, also the responsibilities of course uh, are will be with uh, responsibility comes money otherwise kon deta sir so uh, just one thing i want to ask uh, uh, not in detail and that is regarding shipyards in india uh, i think so shipyards matlab bahar hi hoga sir maybe korea japan uh, but i guess no so not many options in india or are there options available in india as well right so uh, i think a very good question about say 8 to 10 years back i knew a host lot of chief engineers who were working in shipyards in india um lnt shipyard in chennai and i was uh, you know lucky to be part of one takeover of a offshore vessel where the entire shipyard uh, and and actually not just just the shipyard but the the that vertical was managed by a chief engineer Um, a very senior person so lnt's shipyard was governed by a marine engineer right um, then you've got uh, shipyards cochin shipyard uh, uh, you've got two good shipyards in um, uh, in gujarat um, one was uh, in pipawa and another one in, in at another place there also there were chief engineers so the point being that maybe yeah maybe six or seven and about eight to nine years back they were there and doing and heading those but slowly because of various financial crunch because of various way the shipping cycle works the they were not able to sustain themselves the shipyards so right now in india the opportunities are less and all of them have actually shifted outside india but now again i think once the government push comes towards government investment comes towards shipyard then again this will uh, slowly increase within india thank you sir i will not leave you on shipyards on this because we'll be covering in detail separately so that every engineer gets an idea even a deck officer that's that but thank you for sharing all the information in this video thank you very much so thanks a lot pleasure to be here thank you hi guys jai hind jai bharat jai mata so you're a marine engineer who is thinking of transitioning from ship to shore there are a lot of options you have just seen one 
सो इफ यू वॉन्ट टू डू अ होल डिटेल्ड कोर्स वेर यू कैन सी सारे ऑप्शन आपके सामने इन टर्म्स ऑफ कोर्स शिपिंग वॉटल ऑप्शन यू हैव इन टर्म्स ऑफ इफ इफ नॉट कोर्स शिपिंग आउटसाइड कोर्स शिपिंग वॉटल ऑप्शन डू यू हैव outside complete shipping what all options do you have what are kind of skill set is expected from me what will be your salary this complete there is a complete free course made by us on merchant navy decoded website please go to the description box or in the comment section you will find that course which is helping today hundreds of seafarers marine engineers make well informed decisions in case you have got any query any problems you can just contact team merchant navy decoded and we'll help you jai hind jai bharat jai mata